علامہ صلی اللہ محمد و علی محمد علیہ محدین وسلم تسلیم القصیرہ السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ انلائٹمنٹس فرام دا کالس آف دا میسنجز سیکنڈ ایڈیشن فورٹین ٹوینٹی ایٹ اے ہیچ ٹو تھاؤزینڈ اینڈ سیون اے ڈی انلائٹمنٹس فرام دا کالس آف دا میسنجز آف اسلام of Allah, most gracious, most merciful, dedications to the ones who taught me how to stand up for the truth without being consumed by worries or feeling desolate, to the ones who taught me how to renounce worldly pleasures and vanities, to the ones whom I have the utter honor to roll in the earth they walked on, to the honorable prophets and messengers of Allah, Allah in the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful, Ahmad al-Hassan, Safar 26, 1425 AH. In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful, praise is due to Allah, Lord of the worlds. May his blessings and prayers be upon Muhammad, his progeny, the Imams and the Mahdi's. Enlightenments from the call of Noah, a.s. 1. The call of Noah, a.s. The first messenger endowed with constancy to his people was marked with some leniency and goodly exhortation. By all appearances, even his warnings were forbearing as well. I am naught but a manifest warner. Noah was not strict with his people, even when warning and reproving them. Although they were oppressors and tyrants, they said, If you desist not, O Noah, you shall surely be one of those who were stoned to death. Noah also said, as mentioned in the chapter, of the heights of Araf. Do you wonder that a reminder has come to you from your Lord through a man from among you that he might warn you and that you might guard against evil so that mercy may be shown to you? He also said, We sent Noah to his people. Surely I am a manifest warner to you so that you worship none but Allah. Verily I do fear for you the punishment of a painful day. Noah even said, he said, O oh my people, bethink you if I rely on a clear proof from my Lord, and there has come unto me a mercy from his presence, and it has been made obscure to you, can we compel you to accept it when you are averse thereto? At times, the admonition is associated with mercy, and at some other times, With his fear from the punishment his people would endure. Verily, Noah's leniency can either be explained through the taqiyya in order to avoid a strong clash with the non believers and any entailing harm that could befall the believers, or through his endeavors to soften the hearts of the non believers and make them amenable in pursuit of gaining their faith. This latter explanation is more likely than the one of the Taqiyya, when Noah knew from Allah that none of his people would believe other than those who already believed, he became more rigorous toward them and ridiculed, threatened and menaced them harshly and coarsely. The Almighty said, It was revealed unto Noah, none of your people will believe save for those who have already believed. Thus grieve no longer over their deeds, but build an ark before our eyes according to our inspiration, and address me not with respect to those who have been unjust, for they are about to be overwhelmed by the flood. Forthwith he started constructing the ark, and whenever the chiefs of his people passed by him, they ridiculed him. He said, If you ridicule us now, we in our turn can look down on you with ridicule likewise. Then you shall know upon whom will come a punishment that will disgrace him, and upon whom will fall a lasting punishment. 2. Noah was endowed with patience and temporization. He said, O oh my Lord, I have called upon my people night and day, then I have called upon them openly. Further, I have spoken to them in public and appealed to them in private. 
patience and temporization are requisites for whoever wishes to put faith in the hearts of those he calls to follow the way of Allah. In fact, many are those whom you call to the truth, but they do not believe at first, nay, they face you with harshness and rudeness. However, as days pass, they come to believe in the truth and might even join the ranks of those loyal subjects who call upon the truth. 3. Noah Islam resorted to Allah, the glorified, the exalted, trusted in Him and relied on His projections and arrangements. Nay, he called upon Allah to help him after growing hopeless of gaining the faith of the non-believers. Lord, I am overcome. Do then help me. For Noah Islam had mercy on the believers, treated them with humility and did not care for their past before they answered his call, whatever such past was. Not only that, but he also stood up for that group and took pride in it. They said, Shall we believe in you while the meanest follow you? He said, And what do I know as to what they do? Their account is only with my Lord, if you could but understand. I am not one to drive away those who believe. I am not but a manifest mourner. 5. Noah alayhi salam preserved and worked hard to survive the flood by constructing the blessed ark, preparing provisions for people and animals and arranging the equipment and the apparatus. Such preparations are not easy tasks. They are a strenuous process. More surely, he who performs such chores faces many problems, especially if his people shun him for he shall lack many resources to carry out such a big task. Hence, we can imagine how immense Noah's patience was, how great his trust and reliance in Allah, the one unique and all-compelling subduer were, and how overwhelming the divine mercy and favor bestowed upon Noah were. He, al-Islam, worked with a hand that was almost void of everything save for Allah's mercy. He also worked in a society who only met him with derision, mockery and sarcasm. 6. Noah al-Islam was full of certainty and by certainty I do not mean he was certain of the presence of Allah the glorified and exalted or of his prophethood but I mean he was confident he would defeat and overcome the oppressors. It was that certainty that fostered Noah's al-Islam constancy and helped him communicate the divine message, endure the hurt and disregard people's derision. Nay, he himself ridiculed them for he was certain of the Almighty's sayings, and certainly our word has already gone forth in respect of our servants, the messengers. Surely they are the ones who shall be assisted, and certainly our forces shall be the conquerors. Summary Calling to the truth with leniency, mercy, and softness, then showing an extreme compassion towards those who come to believe in the truth, having patience with respect to those who do not believe at first, perchance they later come to believe in the truth, and working day and night in secret as in public to communicate the truth without boredom or exhaustion, and bestow not favours seeking to get more in return, are all requisites. In all such cases, the utter certainty and belief in the divine victory must prevail and the servants of Allah must resort to Him, draw strength from Him, truly rely on Him and put themselves in His hands so that they may be a proof of the noble verse, There is no might save Allah.